Hello, welcome back to another BMW Bluffers Guide video. We are in Crazy Town this week, uh, Summit Point Raceway. It's week six. Why are we here? Um, this track and car combo, I think, is a complete mistake. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't think we've had GTE cars at Summit Point forever. Um, I can't think of an occasion, actually. Um, they don't go together. Um, that said, it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. Um, if something of a wreck fest, we've got one of the biggest cars here, and we've got one of the kind of slipperiest little tracks. Um, I've put in about 100 laps here. Um, and I never quite got the, the what I would consider my kind of perfect sort of clean lap. Um, so when we get down to the commentary, there's going to be a lot of, well, don't quite do it like this. Um, so bear with me on that. Uh, I did manage to get just inside the 104s. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased enough with that. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll um, flash up the info screen so you can see what the track state and temperatures were. So you can mimic that uh, for your own training if you want. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, folks, so um, we've crossed the line. We're over to the left. We want to start braking super hard, like full threshold braking, as deep as we possibly can, just before the three cone. We want to cut tight and really, really bleed off the brake. And then, um, you know, depending on how much we get bumped about, you know, how, how good our line is um, through T1, we want to be pretty firm on the accelerator hug over to the right hand side watch the grass here I want to break here briefly just drag the brake a little um, and then cut right across to the inside um, and let ourselves float out wide you can actually take a little bit of the sand on the right without getting one X right over to the left here this is very treacherous around here um, you can either let off the accelerator completely or just uh, bounce the throttle but as soon as you're straight out of that corner it's deep 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 into the brakes tight round to the left I kept it in second here you can do first I think second is, is doable and it limits the engine braking which is nice keep it tight round here the you know the temptation is to drift out really wide to the left here on this little uh, right hand sweeper but keep it tight you're not going fast around this corner you want to take the shortest route uh, then we need to be far over to the left here to try and keep our foot to the floor as we take this one. Don't don't take too much of that inside curb. It's a it's a big hump and it's going to throw your car off balance. We don't want that. So staying over to the left hand side, uh, we want to we want to dab the brake quite deep and then just bring it off you know fairly quickly. We want to be on the accelerator just before the apex there really to give ourselves the best run down to the line again you can take a little tiny bit of the sand on the off track on the left you can use all of the pavement there and that's our lap 
So as I said, a uh, tricky week this week. Um, I found it quite frustrating here. I don't think this is a good choice. Uh, but anyway, so we're very, very deep into the breaks as we hit uh, the three cone. You want to make sure you're breaking a bit before, even if you if you were to start breaking even at the three cone, you're just not going to make it. It's not going to happen. So really deep into the breaks, pretty much 100% break. And then we want to start turning in just as the pavement uh, resurfacing starts. And actually, you pretty much want to follow the line on the pavement resurfacing, which is which is pretty handy. Um, but make sure you're bleeding off the brakes as soon as you finished your main threshold braking and you're turning in. Make sure you really start lifting up out of that brake because um, we don't need to slow the car down much more from that point. Um, so we don't want to over slow the car. Um, so really bleed out of that brake. And as soon as you um, reach the apex, you want to be basically ready just to drop the accelerator. Now, it can be pretty bumpy and treacherous around here. You really don't want to catch the inside curb. Um, but if you're kind of on the resurfaced pavement there, you know, you're, you're, in a, you're in a safe bet. There is, there is quite a smooth line around there, and I'm basically just about on it. We want to continue turning the car around to the right, catch up to the right-hand side of the track here. And then really, really far over to the right. And then we want to break uh, around about the middle of the uh, road to the right, uh, where the cones are. Um, and we're probably breaking around about kind of 40-ish percent. We're not maintaining that for long. We're, we're kind of punching the brakes um, and then just sort of dragging them a bit. I think on this particular lap, I... I actually dropped out of the brake and then brought it back in a touch. And we want to apex right on that inside curb. We can ride that curb a bit. It's not too bad. It will push you out a little bit wider on your exit. Uh, but you can take a bit of the sand on the right. Um, I'm, ideally, obviously, you don't. Um, but use all of the curb on the exit. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, you should you should have a good clean run through here. It's it's um, it's a surprisingly tricky corner, um, this, and um, it can it can catch you out, especially when you're with other cars when you're in traffic. So we're coming out there using all the curb, and then we're passing over to the left hand side of the track for a really really treacherous little right hander. You're going to want to come out of the gas here. You don't need to brake, and ideally you wouldn't use that amount of curb that I've just used there. Um, but, um, you know, as soon as you're straight, you want to be deep into the brakes, full threshold braking. And then we want to be coming out of the brake, um, you know, really progressively so we can get back on the gas on the apex. Again, pretty much following the resurface pavement line there. It's there for a reason. And then we're braking quite early here into this long sweeping right hander uh, because we want to be back on the gas just before the apex there but we're not going full gas here we're going about three quarters we don't want to follow the pavement this time if we use all of this track over to the left we're just going to be slower we're not winning anything by using that line because we need to be over the right hand side of the track here in a second or at least towards the middle of the track so uh, if we used all that trap back there, we'd be in a terrible position right now. Um, we need to cut across here. There's a dangerous 1x there uh, and a spin if, if you catch too much grass. You want to be over to the left and then straight into this sort of semi-tricky right-hander. Don't take any more curb than that because if we do, um, it's going to bounce the car and we're never gonna make the exit curb. It will throw us onto the grass on the left, worse, spin us out completely. And we wanna keep ourselves parked over to the left for the final uh, right-hander, which is, oh, which can be taken about four different ways. And um, I tried all four <laughs> and um, I settled on an early break so that we can get back on the gas early um and that that pretty much consistently spat me out of the exit with the best kind of uh speed 
Um, you can break late and, and deep, um, but I, I think I think um, slow in, fast out, you know, is always it is always the mantra, and um, I, I definitely kind of subscribe to that advice for this corner here. So we're going in at about kind of 50 60 percent uh again we're not we're not holding the break for long here um we're kind of uh, giving it a, a good punch and then we're gonna trail it a little bit as we come in and we're actually gonna just float around the corner a little bit too um so we're trailing it in and then we're back on the gas right as that red curb is starting um so before we've even apexed and that's really important um, you know, if you can get yourself in a position where you're getting onto the gas just as the, the red curb starts um, and you've got the car turned in enough at that point, you're always going to have a really great exit here. And bear in mind that you can completely ignore the red uh, and white um, strip on the left. You can use all that other pavement and even a little bit of the sand if you need to, just a touch of the sand. You know, you can get half a wheel on the sand and it's not going to it's not going to shout about it. And it's actually really not going to slow you down that much either. So I think I kiss a bit of the sand here. I do. And then we're back in and on. And we're powering down again for another lap. And that was my 104.987. Um, don't forget to check out the track conditions here now. Um, so if you want to um, ha have a crack at my lap, you can you can uh, you can do it there. I don't know what the race conditions are going to be, you know, on the week, um, but uh, you know this is what I always used to practice, and it's actually the same as as the VRS um, used for their uh, for their training. Um, so thanks for watching. As always, if if it was useful please do subscribe, please do hit the little bell and then you'll get a notification for the next video. Um, have a really good week this week. I hope I hope your racing goes well. Uh, let me know how you get on. I'm always keen to, to you know, hear how you're doing um, and see you next time. Cheers.